do you feel like um, America's constitution might be outdated so much yes. so that um, it's maybe the it can be reformed uh, through because um, I've um, I've come to consider that people often talk about uh, Roman history, like the Civil War, Caesar, etc. But they don't mention that um, the cause of the Civil War was a social um, social trouble all along. Like um, it's a, it was a very complicated subject, I think, where people like Caesar um, were the only one putting. Uh, forward reform but they wanted power for themselves and the conservative were trying to protect the institution but they were trying to block reform too and so it felt like kind of a of a trap situation and i mean um sometimes they are but well i think the united states have worshipped the constitution so much too much like the attitude towards like this document being okay so here's here's a here's a uh, here's a thing okay the constitution of the united states is one of the best out there okay it's not the best out there but when it comes to constitutions it's close to the top it's really really good okay but really really good does not mean without flaws it has a lot of flaws okay and I think a lot of Americans have become too arrogant about how their constitution is. And they have gone from our constitution is pretty good to our constitution is like the Quran or like a revelation from God. And like these people were like, they had like everything. I mean, these are as good as, as, as smart as the founding fathers of the United States were. Okay. There's no human that lived back then that could have foreseen all the things that we needed. Um, all all the ways that humanity will progress and the things that we need you know what i mean so i think they made it it's good to make changing the constitution difficult okay but i think like the united states has made it a bit too difficult like adding amendments to the united states constitution uh, is difficult in normal times but now um it, this uh, American politics have become so polarized that it has become close to impossible. Like before it was difficult. Now it's almost impossible changing the constitution and adding amendments and stuff like that. It's like nobody, I haven't seen any legal expert to even put, put that part of their consideration for that to be a possibility. You know what I mean? That's like, that's how, but, but that's insane because obviously times change and technology changes, people change, economies changes. So you need to be able to adapt somewhat. I know you don't want to be able to change the constitution willy nilly, but that some level of adaption is needed. And given that a polarized uh, politics in the United States has made changing the constitution almost impossible, that means that it's that that part, the 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 I mean, you know, the changeability, the changing of it. Because I'm assuming that changing the constitution, the methods of changing the constitution is also written in the constitution itself. Is that is that how it is? Because I think so. If that is a flaw, then it's a self-destructive uh, flaw. Like at some, at some point, I mean, we see this flaw, right? We see like basic human rights um, are not something that is um, covered completely in the United States Constitution. A constitution is something that is meant to limit the the dictatorship of the majority like so the democracy is uh, absolute de democracy is dictatorship of the majority right and a constitution uh, is, 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 is a piece of document that could turn a country from just being an absolute democracy to a liberal democracy and a liberal democracy is a democracy where, a li where it has limitations to the rule of the many okay and the rule of the, the limitations are supposed to be protecting basic human rights especially for minority groups especially for um you know a group any 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 group of people that are usually uh, a target of any form of oppression or discrimination right so uh, given that the constitution at the time was written uh you know where we understood that women should have equal rights uh that i don't know slavery is not okay so certain things were covered okay but it doesn't cover like trans rights it doesn't cover you know, gay rights it doesn't cover a whole bunch of basic human rights that 
that internationally we recognize that these, these should be covered in basic human rights. So like internationally, like uh, the internet, you know, the human rights declaration and, and whatever the United Nations says that it's a lot more amendable. So now we're in a situation where the United States used to be ahead of the whole, the international world, uh, international body or, or, or institutions. But now because they're amendable and the United States isn't, now they're ahead of the United, United States. So the United States is now behind because they cannot add these basic human rights and it should be able to, right? So now the United States Constitution is not limiting enough. It's not limiting the rule of the majority enough to uh, to cover things that we know internationally it should be, uh, be sh it should be covering. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the way that they try to do, the, the way that they, instead of trying to change the Constitution to cover other basic human rights, what they try to do is try to reinterpret everything that is already there to make it seem to 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 make it seem like it's covering other people as well right so they're like so for example if you look at uh, uh, protecting women's right to choose there's nothing in the constitution that covers that basic human right so they had to go and look at the right to privacy in the constitution and somehow use that in a way to use the right to privacy as a way to give uh, um, abortion rights to women but, but we know that if any good constitution that covers um, the right to choose for women would just have that explicitly in there instead of you having to reinterpret the privacy, your right to privacy for your right to abortion, right? So, for example, if we want to provide gay rights based on the constitution to, to, to people, we try to use the sex to the um, sex space, uh, sex, uh, the limitation to the you know the banning of sex-based uh, discrimination in the constitution we try to say somehow argue that that also um, covers sexual orientation based um, discrimination but we have to do that because the constitution right now is not advanced enough to cover that so we have to take what we have and somehow make it seem like it covers everything else but that means that means it's a flawed constitution because it will a good a better constitution would just have that written explicitly in there yeah, I agree. Does uh, that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Ibn Khan, what do you think? Sorry, I'm just driving. Just one second. I'm just going to park up now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, 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 don't. No, it's fine. Fine. Uh, Kenny in the live chat is saying democracy is two wolves and a sheep uh, deciding what, what to eat. A constitution is what ensures the sheep doesn't become dinner. So, yeah, so guys, like you remember, this is kind of like capitalism, right? So we like capitalism because it works, but you can't just let, let it loose willy-nilly, okay? Because it works so well that we eat everything in its way, okay? So like capitalism is like, for example, it's like a knife, okay? It's very useful, but you can't just have no limitations to its use because if you have no limitation, people are going to go stabby stabby on each other, okay? You want it for surgery, you want to cut vegetables. It's a very, very powerful and useful tool, okay? Just like capitalism, but you want limitations, okay? Democracy, like capitalism, is a very, very powerful tool, okay? You want democracy, but just like you want, you don't want capital, you, you don't want capitalism without limitations, you don't want democracy without limitations. Because democracy without limitations means that the majority could oppress the minority. Because if the majority gets to decide whatever they want, then the majority could decide that we want slaves and they could make slaves in the minority into slaves, right? So you want to limit the majority the democracy. And usually the way you limit the majority is with a constitution. Limited democracy, limited capitalism. Hey, I mean, I'm home now. I can speak. It's all right. Okay. Um, Sorry. Yeah. You don't have to no, park no, everything. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just parking up anyway. Um, there's actually a good um, article. When I was uh, in law school, um, we read an article from uh, Ronald Walkin. He was uh, the most prominent legal scholar in the 21st century. And he actually discusses um, about the tyranny of the majority, etc., and how law should be applied, taking into consideration minority rights. It's called uh, Something of Hedgehogs. And it's really, it's, it might be worth actually reading the article. Uh, I remember the name of the article, Something of Hedgehogs. Um, but we read it in, in, I think it's one of the best things I've, I've read on, on this topic on how uh, law is associated to morality and how it should protect um, the minority opinion while still enforcing, or not enforcing, but um, promoting the majoritarian, you know, part of, demo you know, the democratic process. Uh, but it's, well, it's well worth reading. 
is in summary is called a liberal a lot of people say liberal liberal democracies right and they don't understand that that's a contradiction right liberal democracy that these are two forces that are working against each other okay democracy is working against liberalism liberalism is working against democracy okay democracy says whatever the majority says goes liberalism it says there are certain things that are part of our um certain rights that you don't get the majority doesn't get to rule there are certain principles that is not up for discussion that's what liberalism tells you okay so when you have a liberal democracy you're trying to come up with the force of liberalism and the forces of democracy fighting with each other and you find the best outcome you try to find the best outcome between these two yeah no i agree with you completely on that uh Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.